Well, we have, and we got to Gallego Pan, and we tried to get ourselves into a situation where we were going to see perfectly with a sunset, but he didn't. Herbie, you're a champion. Thank you, buddy. So Herbie has once again come through. Oh, there we are. Maracha, I didn't expect him to be so close. <laughs> but there we go. How cool is this? Now, it was going to be so epic. If he went to Gallego Pan, we had the most insane sunset lined up with the pan, and I was hoping he was going to go and drink. But alas, sometimes the best plans are foiled, and at least we've got to see him, which is really cool. Now, he's on his way straight towards Vuyatele Ogari Dam, and so I'm pretty sure he's going to be going to the dam cam. So if you want to watch on the dam cam as well, it will be a good place to go. Now he's just dropping down into the drainage section here. Oh, this is going to be tough to follow him through this, but we'll try our very, very best. Now I'm not sure who it is just yet. I know it's quite a dark male. So I know Tinio is one of the darker of the Birmingham boys, so I think it could be him that is here. Of course, this is a massive speculation from where I am, but I think it's him. Just looking at that lip as well, it looks like it could be him. So let's see how he goes. But yes, come back to the road. That's going to be much better if you do. There we go. Lots of scent marking. And I'm pretty sure that we're going to get some roaring tonight. If he's scent marking like this, I wouldn't be surprised we hear some roaring. Isn't this cool? This is so cool. These Birminghams are getting massive. Their manes are getting so good. We've got nice big long manes coming down the chest, getting black and dark. And if you look at a picture of these guys from a year ago, they don't look anything like what you're seeing now. Oh, I don't know. This is going to be tough if he's going to go through here. He will eventually get to the dam, but it's not going to be easy to follow him through this lot. Let's see. We'll try follow him. It's going to be an adventure nonetheless, Ferg. So I hope you've got your hard hat on, because here we go. Adventure is what you're here for. That was said like a true adventurer. This is so cool. So, look at that. Isn't that cool? He is awesome. I'm so happy that we managed to get him. And it just shows you how important it is to have people like Herbie around, the skills that they have to be able to find this animal and also just to be off on foot. Like I said to you, I'm sure this lion was somewhere in that area and that if we could just get on foot and walk through, we would be able to find him. And luckily for us, Herbie went in and it took him, I don't even know, half an hour and he was on it as quick as a flash. So well done to Herbie. He's really done well. Now he's going straight towards the dam. I don't know if we're going to be able to follow him through here. We might have to just quickly shoot round to the dam itself and then try and see if we can't go from there because it's going to get very hairy in here. And Well, actually, I don't even think we can get all the way around. Uh, I don't think we're going to get through here, Ferg. We're going to try. Christina, you want to know what a gremlin is? Well, Christina, it's a small little creature that lurks in the shadows and waits for you and an unsuspecting vehicle to come. And then what it does is it quickly, as quick as a flash, jumps onto the vehicle. It attacks our aerials and our signal, bites through the cables and cuts our feed so that we can't show you anything. So that is what a gremlin is. They are nasty little creatures, things you don't really want around. And so we try and get rid of them as much as possible. Now I'm just trying to see if I can keep up with this lion. There's no ways I'm going to be able to keep up through here. I don't know where Byron is but hopefully he's going to be able to help us out shortly because it's almost time for school drive so it would be... Eh. I've lost sight of this male but I can see the dam so I'm just going to go around to the dam because we're fighting against a brick wall here at the moment so this is no good. We're going to have to try and get around and get another way through because that's just ridiculous inside there. <laughs> oh, here we go, trying to get around. Right, so it's that time now where we're going to start to entertain and educate the kids and the youth of today. And so we'll see you all just now.